Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my reef tank here and I'd like to share just a quick update on the tank. So first let's go through the quick update on the algae, well dinophagulates. Uh, I've had it for about two to three weeks now. Still continuing to dose vibrant and it's massively reducing. It's virtually all gone. It's just a tiny bit of what I think might be cyanobacteria. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's all uh, clearing up uh, quite quick. The firefish here is really starting to come out more. This is some footage I got about a couple of days ago. Really starting to come out loads. It will, it will come out more when, when I start adding more fish as well. Uh, so yeah, he's, he's doing just fine. Starting to eat as well. I'm also continuing to run my lights at 80% blue, which is probably about a total of 65 watts uh, from both lights. And so uh, it's enough to grow coral and to keep them happy and all that, but it's not quite enough for the algae to feed off, yeah, you know, to, to gain enough energy for it to grow loads. So it's definitely reducing quite a bit. Uh, so I'm gonna to continue to run these lights at 80% for maybe the next week or so, and then I'll just put them back onto the new schedule. I will be running up maybe like five or ten ten percent whites at the most uh, because I don't want to kick up to kick off again, especially in a young tank. But as the as the tank matures, I'll just slowly um, put up the whites uh, to where to wherever I want to put them at. I recently tested my nitrates again, and they've gone quite high because I've been feeding quite heavy to get them high because these dinovagulates thrive in low nutrient tanks so i've been trying to raise them up to about 10 but it's gone way past that and it's gone up to like 25 so i'm feeding about twice a day at the most sometimes just once a day and my skin is running constantly as usual i also did a 50 about 55 percent water change i took 40 liters out no 60 liters out and 60 liters back in so the total water volume is about 110 liters with 125 litre tank, but once you've got sand and rock and all, the, all that stuff in, the skimmer and all that, uh, reduces it to about 110, 105, so it's probably about 55, 60% water change, which should reduce it back down to about 10, maybe 12 or something. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's fairly easy to get the nitrates low by just doing a simple large water change. I've also recently added in an LED in the cabinet. This is to, so I can turn it on and so just so I can see what I'm doing whenever I'm in the cabinet. And this LED is just uh, the dual lighting that came with this tank. Uh, it's got two LED strips. They're kind of like T5s, but they're, you know, an LED strip. They're, one's white, one's blue. So it gives a quite a bit of light in the cabinet whenever I need to do stuff in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to glue some of my corals into some of the positions where I want them. So I've turned all the flow off to make sure it's all uh, steady in there. So I'm going to start off with the candy cane, which is probably the most luminous coral I have. It's an LPS coral. It's got about two heads splitting into three. Yeah, it's actually... It recent, when I've put it in this tank, it's started to grow really fast. I think that's probably increase of light, heavily increasing light and flow as well they like high flow it's getting really low flow in the nano tank and now it's getting much more better requirements that it needs in here so it'll be growing a lot more faster so i was thinking just the side on this side of this rock here it'll grow to like a nice kind of tennis ball size within the next maybe six months or saying which uh which is all right so they don't have massive feet uh stingers stinging tentacles that they release at night to uh to touch anything they're only like a centimeter long so it won't touch anything near it. So there it is there, very, very luminous. So that glued them there quite nicely. You have to keep on, sometimes the glue doesn't work, so you have to take it back out, put some more glue on it. So it takes about three, two to three tries to, until it completely sticks onto the thing. This wall coral, I do, I did try and glue this onto the uh, filter box, but it didn't really plan out very well. It didn't really stick onto there, so I just left it there for now. Uh, the A can they like really low flow, uh, was they expand their heads a lot more. So I was thinking just to sight onto this little LPS corner here. Well, this is kind of the low flow area of the tank, so already it's been doing brilliant here. Here, I actually, I was actually able to do this one first try. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my zoanthids. These have been 
very shot in since they've well since I did the new Axcape. Well, apart from the orange ones in the bottom left corner, uh, all the others have been really shot in. I don't really know why that is. I'll just give them a month or so. If they haven't opened up, I'm gonna have to deal with them, give them some treatments into the tank or something because they're really shot in. I don't know why they're not opening. All my parameters have been the same. It's just since I've moved them over here, they haven't been massively happy. So I've glued them all in here because they've been moving around. So I'll try and give give them as much peace as I can. So I really want these to open up. And the uh, the firefish decided to join us out the front. Surprisingly, it's uh, it was camera shy about. Well, when I got it, it really didn't like the camera. As soon as I got the uh, the camera up to close to the glass, it started to shoot in. But I got it really got some really good close shots of it. Uh, without it shying away, so that's all good. But unfortunately, not a fan of my hand um, in the tank, so it will shot in uh, in just a sec when I because I'm going to be moving my Duncan now. Uh, it's a little too close to the hammer. Give it about a month, well, about six weeks or so, and they will be touching together, It'll be harming each other, and start to battle on that. So I'm just going to move it over to the right a little bit it's on the edge of that rock there, so we'll get a little bit more flow as well. They do like higher flow. And um, yeah, that does all right there. I think I did that second try. I think I had to try it in two different positions to take it out, get some more glue in it, and then put it back onto the side there. You've got to try it a few try a few times. You can also use putty as well, but you know I usually have more success with glue. But something like sticking rocks to get rocks together or really large amounts of coral that weigh quite a bit, uh, you, you may want to use putty because glue might not be strong enough. that's glued onto the side very very nicely uh, the ham I'm going to keep it where it is might move it up in a couple of months when it starts growing because I don't want it touching my other LPS uh, later on I didn't really get it, get this on video but I do glue that wall core onto another piece of rock you'll see that next week candy cane that will that work glued onto there well So was, they didn't really stick massively well, they're stuck onto there but not massively well, so we'll see if was the snails can easily just knock them off, so we'll see what they do. So you can see the wave machines in the top uh, top left, top right corner, I've moved those in. Uh, the top, the one in the top right is barely pushing any flow because you see it's, it's blasting it like exactly on, onto that little piece of GSP there and it's not moving at all. So it's, it's pushing barely any flow, it's really died down that, but the one in the top left has got definitely... But, Pushing about eight and a half hours, thousand liters an hour. I always have that on full chat all the time. Apart from night, I dial it down to maybe like 40%. And there's the firefish coming out again. I have actually started to get him feeding as well. He's eating spectrum pellets, which is really, really healthy food. Got loads of meats, loads of nutrition, loads of vitamins, everything it needs. So there are a few things I still need to get, uh, next week I might have the net cover or something, uh, probably something new. Um, so I'll catch you yeah, next week with another update, see you later.